In my hands is the brand new OnePlus 12 device and I've been using it as my daily driver ever since it was released. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts on using it, give you my thoughts on the overall feel, and of course try and help you guys make a decision of whether or not this should be in your cart right now. And the short answer is yes, and there might just be one or two little downsides about this and I'll get into that as well. But this is the OnePlus 12, so let's get into it. Just to get some of the specs out of the way, I'm, I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of specs. If you guys are into that sort of thing, I'll leave a link down in my description. But overall, these are the general specs that most people care about, starting with the storage. Now, I have the 512 and 16 gigabyte of RAM edition. There's also a 256 and 12 gig. And if you live outside of the US, there is a one terabyte option, which I don't know why we didn't get it here in the States, but it is what it is. 512 is definitely going to be enough for most people. It has the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip in here, and let me tell you, absolute beast mode status with this chip. The battery is also beast mode at 5400 milliamp hour. The screen is 6.8 inches, and again, the RAM is 16. Now when it comes to the cameras, and I'll, I'll show you some shots as well, but I think you can get some really awesome shots from the front 32 megapixel, the rear 50, 48 and 60 megapixel shooters. I'm not going to talk to you anymore about these megapixels and stuff like that. I'm just going to show you what the camera samples look like. And spoiler alert, they actually look really good. Now in my impressions video, I said the camera was still, still out. I was still judging whether or not you can get some good shots. And I think you can get some really nice shots from this camera. But let's go over some of the things really quickly that I touched upon in my impressions video. Number one, I think the build quality is excellent when it comes to the OnePlus 12. The frosted matte back feels really nice and premium in your hand, but of course most people are going to throw a case on this, but if you don't, you can see fingerprints are hidden pretty well with this material. Kind of reminiscent of the sandstone that they had on other devices, except it isn't coarse, it's not that sandstone grit type of feel. And the camera housing is, uh, is a little bit of a, a larger camera housing, that's 100% for sure. I mean, I thought the iPhone looked a little funky. But this definitely takes the cake. Now, one thing I'm not too sure about, if you guys know, let me know down in the comments below. But from what I've found, this just uses tempered glass. And that's a little bit, little bit concerning for me. I'm wondering how well that's going to do with scratches and whatnot. I might be wrong. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments below. But in, in, from what I've found, it is tempered glass. And that would mean that you definitely want to throw a case on this to protect that lens, especially if you're going to use this phone for quite some time. The alert slider on the side is something that most Android manufacturers should copy. I don't know why no one's incorporated this into their designs. Here's looking at you, Samsung. Here's looking at you, Google. It's very convenient just to go in and while it's in your pocket, switch it to silent vibrate or put it back on ring. Now, a, give, a feature I'm not going to use, but I know a lot of you are going to use this, is the IR blaster. Shout out to Flossy Carter. He's always talking about IR blasters. I've never once used it, but it is here, so for those of you that want to use it, I can see it coming in handy, and I might try it out with my air conditioners once the summer rolls around. Now, the screen itself is curved. I'm not a super fan of the curve. It catches the glare, it catches reflections, especially when you're out and about, and you can see it there catching the light, but curved screens do, do make it more comfortable to hold. You definitely, get a, you definitely get a more comfortable feeling when you use a curved screen versus a flat screen. I just like flat. I always said bring flat back, and I'm pretty sure they are next time around. But for those of you that like it, it is here, and the palm rejection does a decent job, but I really haven't had any issues with it. The panel that OnePlus has used is, is a very nice panel to use, no matter whether you're watching your favorite Jabbertech YouTube videos, watching a movie, trolling X, whatever you do, it's a very pleasing screen to use. And with a max brightness of 4,500 nits, even if you're in that deep Sahara sun, you're still going to be able to check out what you want to check out on your phone. Another thing that I noticed about this phone is just how fluid it is, and I don't know why other major manufacturers can't make their phones as fluid as this OnePlus device. This is just one of the most fastest and fluid devices that I've used. Everything absolutely screams, and here's looking at you Google, here's looking at you Samsung, you guys have the juggernaut teams behind you, but you guys aren't doing it for some reason. OnePlus has, has always been that company that's maximized the fluidity of their devices, they've always been that... They've always been that company that knows what they're doing when it comes to giving you a, a super fast experience. And along with that really fast experience, the battery life is, is absolutely amazing on this phone as well. I mean, if you're a light user, you can definitely get two days of use out of it. If you're more on the heavier side, you're still going to end out the night with 20 to 30 percent. And even if you trump, and even if you chomp through this battery like nobody's business, this is going to charge up in about 25 minutes from zero to 100. 80 watt wire charging here in the US is super fast and 50 watt wireless charging if you have their SuperVox system 
is still going to charge this bad boy up in about 35 40 minutes or so so here's looking at you other manufacturers you guys really need to step up your charging game just being able to charge from 0 to 120 minutes is insane and that just means that if you forgot to charge overnight or you're trying to leave the office whatever the case is even a 5 to 10 minute charge is going to get you up to about 70% so battery life, 5400 milliamp hour in here, definitely no joke when it comes to the, the battery life on the OnePlus 12. Now other than that, I think this is an excellent device, dual SIM here in the US and eSIM as well. The speakers get really loud, the speakers are something that's been super enjoyable, even with phone calls. I mean, I've, I've never had a complaint when it comes to the phone call quality on any device that I've used in the past couple of years. But these speakers, notifications especially, vibration haptics on this phone are some of the best and even better than my iPhone, which I thought was really good. Better than the Pixel 8, which I also thought was really good. The haptics just keep getting better and better. And this is gonna shake the pants off when you get a notification, 100% for sure. Now other than that guys, take a listen to the speaker sample. When it comes to unlocking the phone, and I'm going to say this because I think, I think more Android people need to complain to manufacturers about it. We need a more secure face unlock. This is just something that Android devices really need. And, and we got to step up our game when it comes to being able to use a, a secure face unlock for banking or mobile payments or anything like that. And it is possible. I have my old Honor phone here that has a secure 3D scanning face unlock that works in any, any lighting conditions, just like the iPhone. Now the face unlock on the OnePlus device is super scarily fast. It unlocks like nobody's business and even in dim lighting it'll still unlock but you still need you still need a decent amount of light around you for it to capture your face. But it unlocks super fast. I mean I'm behind the camera and you can see how fast this is unlocking. The fingerprint unlock also is pretty pretty good pretty fast. Let me just make sure it's not capturing my face. But we do need a secure 3D face unlock and I think we just really need to push these manufacturers to say hey we need a competitor to the iPhone's face ID. We just need, we just need more security when it comes to using our face. And gaming on the OnePlus 12 is also awesome as you just saw. So go ahead and play your favorite titles on the OnePlus 12. That Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is going to do its thing. Now speaking of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 doing its thing, this phone does not get overly warm. It doesn't get super hot when you're using, using it intensively. And that's because of the massive cooling chamber that they have inside of this device. Another area where OnePlus hit it out of the park is with their modems. Just take a look at this speed test that I did. 1.8 gigabits per second down. And this was over the weekend, so I did have two SIM cards in here, just kind of testing it out to see what the battery life was like. And quite honestly, with two SIMs versus one SIM, I don't really see a, much of an impact on battery life. In fact, I don't really see any impact at all. But the OnePlus modem is fast, as you can see, and it also connects really quickly to the 5G towers. Some other phones that I had took a little time to reconnect in the subway, but the OnePlus 12 connects without any issue. Let's talk about the camera because that's always been an area where OnePlus kind of struggled. And yes, this does use the Hasselblad system, so they did kind of fine tune it. And with the latest update, we now get a, a master option in the camera settings here. And that's just going to change the way that the photos look. I'm probably like you guys. I'm a point and shoot type of person. I leave everything on auto. I really don't change anything. I just like to take out my phone, press that shutter button and have a nice shot. So I'm going to show you some samples. You guys let me know what you think about these samples down in the comments below. But if you have some really nice light, this is going to hit it out of the park. Some of these photos really made me look and really made me say, wow, I think OnePlus has the complete package this year around. Shadows come through as intended. Night mode shots are really good and it's not overly brightened or overly sharpened. Again, I think they're doing a nice job with the camera, a huge improvement from other generations.
now let's take a look at the 4K front camera quality of the OnePlus 12. Background looking a little washed out. Let me know what you think about the front facing camera. Let's keep on moving. Four K video content, one plus twelve. Zooming in, three X, five point five, wide angle. Here we are, 4K30 video recording. HDR 4K. So when it comes to the camera system, you no longer have to be shy about using a OnePlus phone. I mean, that's, that's usually what it was like in the past. You always knew that you were not getting decent shots with the OnePlus system. You can, you can be up in the front and say, hey, I'm going to take this photo for all of us because this camera system definitely does a really nice job. And I think at night, I prefer the night shots coming from the OnePlus 12. They don't overly brighten the scene. They just do a nice job of giving you a what you see type of feel. So OnePlus, if you continue on this trajectory, I think you're gonna have a really nice camera system that's gonna be one of the best, if not the best, especially if you continue on this road. That's really it when it comes to the OnePlus 12 device. I think this is an awesome phone for anyone in the market right now, especially, especially given all of, its, all of its pluses. There's not really that many negatives. There's not really that many minuses when it comes to the OnePlus 12. Other than maybe the curved screen, again, that's just my preference. Some, some people really like it, and, and it was nice, but it does feel a little bit dated right now. It is what it is, guys, but there's not much that you can really nitpick about the OnePlus 12. Fast charging, battery life is a beast. The actual phone is a beast as well. It doesn't jitter, it doesn't lag. Connectivity is also really good with all of the latest specs in here, as you'd expect. Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, 5G connectivity. So again, you're getting everything that other manufacturers are charging you a lot more for. Are you even getting some bonuses like really fast wireless charging, super, super fast wire charging? And of course, it does work with regular standard Qi chargers out there as well. But the OnePlus device, again, if you're looking for a complete phone that, that's not gonna break the bank, a complete phone that actually, that actually competes with some of the more higher end, more expensive, over $1,000 devices, definitely check out the OnePlus 12. I'll throw some links down in my description below. Really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, catch another video.